Okay, so once you finish adding levels, the next step is actually called grid. A grids are actually for plants. So instead of so instead of you are designing a war out of like designing the war from nowhere, always so grids are actually the center line of a building or of its wars. So when actually architects or construction engineers design a war, we don't really design the end of the war. The first step is just simply draw the center line of the war and simply when you add any details, just add a thickness on both sides. So actually all drawings of each building is actually we just simply draw the central line of each war. And then sometimes each tunnel and then four columns, we just draw columns at the center of the center of the cross section of the grid. Or for any thick war is actually shift kind of offset a little bit further if it is outside and offset a little if it is inside. So all the basic drawing is actually based on grids. And actually I'm explaining about how to add a grids here. So for grids means that grids, you can actually uh, add grids in one floor and simply copy and paste to all floors. So in this case, uh, so now, if we, for east, uh, this one is player. Okay, so now, so from now on, so as you see that floor plans are updated. So now it has a six levels. It does not show in here. So uh, there are another six levels here. So now I'm switching back to floor plans, meaning that I'm working on each level. So now I can draw walls and floors or kind of everything you want to add. So here, let's say that I want to add grid here. So also grid is in architecture tab. And just click grid. And then you can just simply draw probably bottom to top for any vertical grid. So I just draw roughly any kind of grid here. So if you probably I will give you the all plans and sections of post deck very soon. The first thing I, you need to identify from architecture plan, which look extremely complex, all you need to identify is the center line. Where are the center lines? And identify the uh, distance between center lines. And here for x axis, just draw as many. Uh, grid line you want to use for a building. Again, just simply draw roughly first and change the distance later. So from now on, as you said, this one is 8 meter. So you can actually change to a 4,000 meter. And then you can select uh, this one. Or, uh, so actually, good way of doing And then you can actually change it later. I want to select five. So I should kind of click modify. So now I roughly uh, finish the grid. You can actually select it. And you can just simply update later. So this is done, and then, so if you want to change this one, just update later. So Rob, just kind of when you receive a plan, simply count out, count how many uh, x grids and y grids, and just draw that number and update the distance later. So this is how to draw uh, grids.